Have you filled a bucket today? You may be asking yourself, what kind of question is that? It's the title of this wonderful children's book. And with us this morning is author Carol McLeod as part of our My Book series to talk more about filling buckets in people's lives. Good morning. Good morning. I'm so excited to be here, honored and humbled. Oh, thank, thank you. you so much. And I'm excited to have you because uh, filling buckets, that's something new to me. And you have been referred to as the bucket lady? The bucket lady. Yes, actually, children call me that because everywhere I go, I'm talking about buckets. And so I sort of have that name. I actually even have a wristband that says the bucket lady that I got from my sister-in-law. Okay. But buckets, I, I think it's very important for people to know about buckets. So, and actually, if you know, it helps you with life. So what is this bucket philosophy, if I may ask? Well, the bucket philosophy that I explained in that children's book is that everyone has an invisible bucket. Now, okay. it's not my concept because it's been around for since the 60s with Donald Clifton. But I believe I'm the first one to take it to children because it helps them understand life and it helps all of us understand life. Okay, so how does it, how do you interpret a bucket in terms of, you know, I see them here, I see one that's empty and one that's full. Yes. See, if, you, if I could see your invisible bucket, which you have, I would imagine that your bucket would be very full. When your bucket is full, that means you're happy, you're excited about life, you like yourself, you like your family. That is the way I would like everyone's bucket to be. Oh. But when your bucket is empty, like this bucket over there, uh -huh. you are not having a good day, you are not, and, and you're really sad, lonely, angry, all of those negative things. So the bucket is a a wonderful tangible way to imagine your mental and emotional health and the dipper has to do with people either adding or taking away from our buckets and you know I love the message in the book as we talk about these buckets because when I was reading it I was amazed at how much we can do to fill people's buckets and what we can do to take away Yes, I mean, it's endless. One school that I, I've, and I've been to many schools, one school did it from A to Z. From A to Z, you can fill buckets. Ask your mom if you can help her. Be a good friend. Cheer someone up. There are many ways to fill buckets. And every time you do something nice for someone, you're actually putting one more heart or star, meaning happy thoughts and feelings, in someone else's bucket. That is beautiful. It's so simple. There was a page here that I adored, which is filling the bucket for mom. And of course, moms are very special, and they always are. They're, they're so important. Oh, yes. And on page 19, and the viewers now can see this page, you love your mom and dad. Why not tell them you love them? You can even tell them why. Your caring words will fill their buckets right up. Yeah, that's one of my favorite pages because it really is so simple. It's just your words and actions and how they affect others. So it's one thing to say, Mommy, I love you. It's another reason to say, Mommy, I love how you help me with my homework and take care of me when you're sick. Or you take me to soccer, like this yes. little boy is saying, Thank you for bringing me to soccer. You were tired tonight. You made the treats. And that does fill mother's bucket. Now, Carol, you also have great messages, uh, for example, on these two pages, which the viewers can now see at home, where children make such a big influence with other kids. Yes, the two pages where we have children dipping, children who are being mean to others, either by their words, by making fun of them or, and saying things, or by doing things, shoving someone down. And in those pictures, which are, when we go into schools, those are two pictures that we often talk about, because we want the children to notice that the people who are dipping have empty buckets. Because part of understanding why people do mean things to us is because their buckets aren't full. Right. How we behave is often indicative of how empty or how full our buckets are. So it might have nothing to do with you, and if you understand that, it helps you actually keep your bucket filled. Something I noticed immediately when I read this to my two girls was, number one, the message is simple to understand, yes. which I loved. Mm -hmm. And number two, the picture spoke volumes. Oh, they do. And it's so simple. It has become one of the simplest, most effective character development programs in schools because the concept is simple, tangible, easy to use. And so it really is in the little things that we say and do each and every day that as we're kind to others, it keeps our own bucket filled. And the pictures bring it to life. You can say in pictures what you cannot say in words, and then you can bring it down to little children, which is, this is a picture also. In fact, this is your bucket. I'm going to give this it to you my... because that just reminds me of you, just happy and full of life. And it's something to be, re it, the, the hardest thing about bucket filling is remembering to do it on a daily basis. And I think that if we all could do that, and there are bucket fillers at homes, at schools, and communities, isn't every place we go going to be better? The little things we say and do make such a difference in life. So I'm just honored to have been the person that took it to children, and I love the fact that it works. It's a great message. Thank you so much. It was an honor to have you. It was an honor to be here. Thank Carol, you so thank much. Thank you very much, and thank you for my bucket. Oh, you're welcome. And if you want more information on this wonderful book, you have to read it with your children. They will learn so much. Go to bucketfillers101.com.